Season 6, episode 33, The Silence. There's no music either. It's really silent. I'm just saying, how did anybody ever name anything? Was some caveman like, hey guys, I'm gonna cook these things and stew. And everyone else was Probably. Like, yeah. Yeah, but then oh, why? Okay, look, if you called a spoon a mouth shovel, right, because it makes more sense, well, then who created the word mouth and who created the word shovel? You know, like, you can just dis dissect these words forever and ever and ever. So that logic doesn't really apply. Right. Sleepy pee. That all right. What do you reckon would be your music fish name? Cod Cobain. Ha. Blue whale. Sharkira. Salmon and carbuncle. Yo, this pizza is so frozen. I can't tell if that's Parmesan or ice crystals. And this pepperoni is saltier than texting the letter K at the reply. Yeah, and this corn is. Uh. They can't talk anymore? No, they can. Ooh. I've hit that before. I've definitely hit that with a lot of friends. Where it's like, like I know someone so well, it's like I don't know what to talk to them about anymore. Like, I, I know everything. I've talked about everything. Like... This is so real, actually. Like, and it's like, what do you do? Do you just make up stuff to talk about? Because then you just like get annoying after a while. Because like, if you just talk to talk and you have like nothing interesting to talk about, that can get like really annoying. But then, like, what do you do? Just sit in silence and never talk to your friend? Like, it's just it's a weird place. Relationship improves the house. You need to have strong foundations, ideally with a man cave. You also need space. Two stories with a screening room for movie that you do right. Run out of things to say. Uh, 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 I meant exchange my services for your money. Oh, sorry. Yes, of course. Very good. So, yeah, Where'd you get all that money? Us, but now it's like... And now, goodbye. Well, wait. That is so real, actually. What about all that building a house stuff? Oh, we're building all right. My full house. Bye. So he was actually talking about a house. Okay. Because I realized he was supposed to be a therapist, so it was like an analogy. But nope, they actually just took their money so he could build their pool house. Who could it be? Please, no. Is it gonna be Alan? Gumball hates Alan. It has to be Alan. He's always happy. Who else would it be? I don't know. Oh. Oh no! It's small. Freaking summoned. Okay, what are you even talking about? Oh. That's probably all the stuff that was just. Okay, do not, don't, don't do it. Don't touch each other. Okay, thank you. Are you allergic? Yeah, what could they, they all like scribbled their pupils? Stop. Okay, you're just getting scammed now. This is 
Oh, I hate this. Because you see this all the time. Oh, stop it. Yeah, you're... Yep. <laughs> Dude, what the fuck were you role-playing? A bot! Yep. Akane's conversation wasn't real. Asterisk crashes head on wall in April. Stop. Asterisk can realize it hurts a lot more in real life than in writing. Oh, yeah. What's funny is that they are... They are holding conversations with each other. It seems pretty inconsistent what we're doing here. It's pretty much all you do. You need to watch the way you sit. You should have a straight back at your knees at a 90 degree angle. It's funny, I just readjusted in my seat. To be in the correct position. But it's actually a good song. <laughs> They're gonna divide apart. They are. They are out of sync. The breakup song is so funny, but also like really good. This is actually a really good song. Like, you know, the show really doesn't fail to deliver on, uh, on their music. They ooh, okay, well, <laughs> yeah, again, it. Uh... And to think the kid who sang that was the kid that got all that dream stuff. <laughs> That's not, nope. <laughs> Trust me. Gumball knows Darwin better than anyone else. This is totally going to work, by the way. I, I guarantee it. Like, I'm telling you, he knows Darwin better than anybody else on the planet. Oh. <laughs> Clever. Your insane logic. What? Bro. That's true. Like, there are really points where you know somebody so well that you have nothing left to say to them. Like, that's it. It's like, you can't even say, oh, what's up or what's new. Like, you already know what's up. You already know what's new, right? You know every little bit about them. All you can really talk to them about is what's happening in the moment. And usually, at least from my experience, you know, it's usually not that interesting. 
So, yeah, I mean, there, there's definitely points where you get to people where it's like you don't even need to really talk to them. You just know them, like, perfectly, pretty much. This was funny. I like this. Um, the, I... I don't know. This was executed very well. I love the music video, the breakup music video segment. I think that was really funny. Straight up like an 80s song. But, um, yeah, this whole ending chase, like, Gumball knows Darwin better than anyone. So, like, it literally makes sense how absurd, like, no matter how absurd the logic was, he found him because that's just who he is, right? But, yeah, I don't know. I, I just, I like this. There's a lot of uh, different things they used like uh summoning small for example flying down the road destroying everything in his way just to give them some stupid zen like finding yourself thing that honestly now that i'm skimming through the episode they did they went everywhere in this episode like frick i hated the online part because it's so true that i mm, i hated that part but yeah, definitely the music video and the final uh, chase segment was definitely uh, the highlight of the episode, I suppose. But I did like the episode overall fully. Like, I think it was funny and very relatable, too. I don't know. Um, it was very entertaining, though. I, I will say that, at least. Uh, called the Silence. I, I was expecting a lot more silence for the episode to be called the Silence. But, you know. I mean, they did defy their logic a little bit because they were like, oh, we have nothing to say to each other. But then they talk to each other constantly throughout the episode. But, you know, I still get the idea. But it is funny how that contradicts each other. But, I don't know, this was nice. It even had a wholesome ending, like the last episode. The last two episodes have had really wholesome endings. Surprisingly, the show rarely gets those, so getting two in a row is kind of crazy, to be honest. But, I don't know, I really like the concept of this episode because of how relatable it is. Like, so relatable. Um, and then he was executed wonderfully in a very funny uh, way, so... Yeah. I don't know. I just, I really like this overall. Good episode. I, I really enjoyed myself. Uh, but yeah, anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one.